Well, howdy folks, welcome back to the old wood shop. We're coming to you from world headquarters, the lower level, located in beautiful suburban northeast Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And uh, if you watched the last couple videos, you know that we're working on some uh, risers. Uh, and uh, I, I have in front of me one of the risers happens to be a five incher and uh, uh, we have seven of these they range in three from three and a half to six and a half uh, half inch increments so the first step was to get all seven of them uh, this size and then I've decided that we're going to, uh, I saved enough for a practice piece, and this is, this is what we're aiming to do. I think I've reminded you already that wood turners uh, say they can make anything once, but uh, to make it twice is the issue. So we're gonna try that. So I've thought about this project and uh, to get the dimensions right, they glued the boards together and they made kind of a square and then I took the piece and I cut it into the finish links, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, etc. Then I took each of those and put them on the lathe here and turned them down till they were each four inches in diameter. So now I hope I've thought this through good enough where I've I know what the I have the overall length established. I don't have to do any more with that. I have the outside diameter established, four inches. I don't have to do any more with that. The only thing I have to do is to create a smaller diameter in here, and then by eye, blend that into the top and bottom. Now to simplify it even more, this line is halfway. And then I put about a quarter inch offset at each end. So to, uh, to be uh, just left straight. And then, so we'll get this area down to a diameter of two and a half inches. And then we'll go from this line to there and we'll make a as graceful a, a, a swoop as we can. So I said I elected to to use the spur drive. This is a spur drive because it's like a spur and uh, it works best if you I guess this is off camera. Well, that's a problem with when you're uh, when you're working solo. Uh, you think you're going to be able to uh, show people things, and without somebody to move the, the darn camera around, uh, you just can't do it. So I'm going to set that. Lock the the uh, ta the tailstock into place. I have the spur drive firmly set into the material. And I'm going to tension it up here, lock it in place. So the only thing I have to do is to make this two and a half inches, and then carefully. 
take the center out and make it a graceful curve. So this and this, those all look good because we have seven of these to make and we'd like them all to be exactly the same but unfortunately with handmade things uh, each one of them will be a little different than the others. So we tried to simplify it by making as few as few uh, measurements as we have to. And the only one we got left, this is two and a half inches. So we're going to go in here with a parting tool on that line and we're going to cut this down to where it's two and a half inches. Then we're going to carefully work that out of there. Okay. Well, we'll set our tool rest and uh, got our glasses on, hair covering, and we're going to put the face shield on here. This is the tool called a parting tool. Wrong way. We're going to go this way. That's about 850. Again, we can't take off too much. We need to we need to take off just enough. Keep that tool right there. Close. We're getting close. We're going to take off a little more. Very close. Very close. This won't quite slide over the the uh, piece, so we're going to try that carefully. Well, that's pretty good. Pretty good. I think we're going to just give it a touch more. We will be taking off a little more, trying to trying to round it out. Now I think that's going to be good. Let's check our gauge here. We'll put it on the ruler. And uh, yeah, we got two and a half inches. So, uh, what kind of tool should we use? Well, I think we're going to start with the gouge and try to take some of that off there.
This would be good if you could do this left-handed. I think it's going pretty good. Uh, I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a small uh, carbide tool to hopefully to try and finish this out a little bit. carbide tool
Well, you know, folks, I don't know, but I don't think that's too bad. I don't think that's too bad. Take a look and see how we did. How long did that take? 15 minutes. We've got six more to do. And every one will be a little bit different because the the overall length is a half inch different for each one. So here's what we got. Here's the model. This is the practice. Practice one. There's the there's the other one. I think that's pretty close. I'm, uh, I'm pleased. I am pleased. Uh, there's just one, one thing I might want to check here, and that is this diameter is just a little thicker than this diameter. So I think we're going to put this back on the lathe, and we're going to try to just take a little bit more out of there. So, there you have it. Six more to go. That's why it's called handmade stuff. Period. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching, folks.